Okay, so now we're already moving along pretty qu quick. We've already we've created a canvas by creating this text object. All we did was center it and use the tools over here to give it a little better appearance for us and we can run our project. So let's go ahead and save. So it's important to always save because when I hit save scene, you notice it's gonna bring us up a dialog box and I need to come down here and give it a name. And we're just gonna call this main for the main scene. This is our main game scene. You can name it whatever you want. Um, obviously in complex projects, what you name your scene is gonna matter for this. This will be just fine. So we've, we've saved our scene and we wanna save our project so we don't lose anything. And let's go ahead and start setting up what we want for our stores, for our interface. So I'm going to go ahead back to our canvas here. I'm going to right click and I'm going to go ahead and create a panel. And the panel will be what we're going to use to hold our, each of our little stores that, that we have. And you'll see exactly what I mean right away because we don't want it to be this big. We, we really want our store panels to be maybe, maybe this size. And we'll move it right here. And notice that how these are alignments of where the, the actual store pane itself is going to show up. So we're going to spend a little bit of time on this. Even as, uh, again, this is an ambitious basics to go through for someone new, I think it's important to understand uh, what the difference is between the size of the object that I resized here and these outside little tags that are for the anchors. And so these anchors determine how this little panel shows up in the world space. So let's just take a quick look at that. If I run this now, you'll see the panel here. And if I resize, notice how the panel changes sizes exactly as I move my screen here. So our panel is always resizing. Now, I can tell you right now that's not the behavior we want for our specific implementation of our store. We want this 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 panel to basically stay the same size in a, in a in a simple implementation. And the reason it's changing size is it because these anchors are way out here and it's basically telling this inner part anytime any of this changes change it proportionate to to here. So what we can do is we can bring these in and now match what is here. So I'm going to just click and drag to bring them in. And now watch the difference in the behavior. Notice how it's still changing size a little bit, but it's not nearly as dramatic. Why is it not, not, not as dramatic? It's because I've moved these anchor points inward so that as long as it stays a certain size, it's only going to be relative to, to, to the screen itself. So I have to go in pretty small to, get, to you know, get it smaller. Now what if I don't want it to change size at all? I can take and move these anchors in all the way to the center, like that. Now watch what happens. Notice how the panel never changes size because there's a single point in the center that's the anchor. And that's, uh, it's a simple concept, play with it. Um, I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on it because there's a lot of exhaustive videos that spend forever showing how all these things work and the different, different combinations. But that's a simple way to think of it is the, if you move these out, it's gonna move and, be, and, and scale this object relative to its parent more directly. When you bring it right into the center or anywhere else, you know, but when you anchor it in a single point, then the panel won't change sizes at all. And that's really the behavior we want. We, we want to create these panels of a certain size and, and the, the main gameplay can move around it, but we, we want these to stay the same size. And so we've, we'll just keep this for now the way it is. And we're gonna call this our store panel. So this is going to hold our store, and let's go ahead and quick, quick, uh, quickly create a button in here to buy another store. So I right click in here and, and chose button. And now on our button, let's name this. Uh, you'll notice that you can't see any place in here 
for the text of the button. This is just, we have an image, we have a button script, but we have to drill down and open this up and go to the text here inside the button to change this to buy. And we'll just say buy, buy store for now. I'm going to zoom in a little bit here because it's kind of hard to see what's going on. Okay, so we'll bring this down. I, and notice how when I tried to move this down, I grabbed the text instead of the whole button. So we want the whole button. So we're going to click the button and drag it to the bottom. And you'll notice that the anchor point is still up here. And that's okay for what we're doing. We'll see how this works. And now... We also want a name for our stores. We have a button to buy the store, and now we want to have a name for our store. So we're going to go to UI and choose text, and we'll have a name up here for our store, and we'll just center it at the top. So we're not going to worry about graphics right away. We're just creating the engine basically to hold our store, and we're going to center this as well. So I'm coming over here and centering this up. And we're going to go ahead and just call this our uh, lemonade stand, like that. And we'll also make the color, you know, we can make it whatever color we want. So experiment and have fun with this yourself. Maybe you want to make this yellow, and um, I'm going to make it bigger, like that. So this is the name of our store, and this is that we want to buy a store. And then we have to also have a count for our store, like how many stores we own. So I'm going to move this over a little bit, and we'll make a, rather than calling this button, remember, we always want to name things. We were going to call this uh, buy store button, so we, it's really clear what this button's for. And it doesn't have to be this big. Let's make it a little smaller. We'll go over here, Maybe like that. But we want a, a text element here that's going to show us how many of these we own. So we're going to start off owning one. Then we'll own two, we'll own three, we'll own four, and so on. So let's go ahead and, and do that. Now we got this text up here. We're going to call this the name of the store, store name text. So that's the name of our store. Now we need another text object, and I'm going to show you how you can, if, if there's elements you don't need to change, one of the things I'll do a lot is I'll right-click and duplicate. So now I have a copy of this and I can click and drag it down this I might not want centered but uh, a lot of times I'll stick with centered for, for a lot of things but um, let's go over here and we know that this is going to be a number so we're going to start out with one so we own one lemonade stand and if we want to we can make the, the color different to make it stand out if we want now, I think that's going to be kind of on a blue background itself but Play, play with it to make it your own, you know, p change your colors, make it the way you'd like it to look. But um, I'll just pick a white, white for now, you know. And so this we're going to call store count text. And with this, we is kind of right now our basic setup for what we want for our, our, our really first version of this game. It's, you know, very, very basics of getting started. So I'm going to run it again so, so we can see it. And we have our lemonade stand label here. We have our count of our store. And then we have a button here that we can click and buy our store. Now, nat naturally, nothing's going to happen here. And I hope that you would not expect something to happen when I click this. Because that's what we're going to do in our next lectures. We're going to actually wire this up so this buy store button will actually increment this counter. And we can begin actually turning this into a tycoon game. So these first two lectures were setting up the basic interface. Um, hopefully there's not a lot of surprises here for you. If this is, if this is uh, new, you might have to watch it a few times because I did go kind of quick. Again, it's for ambitious beginners that are comfortable with computer interfaces and some of the basics of Unity. So we're gonna move quick, and here just within you know less than, um, than 10 minutes here, we've added our store to this. So we're gonna go ahead and finish this lecture, and the next one, we'll actually wire this up and start doing a little bit of programming so we can uh, 
see our our stores get purchased and 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 go up in 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 our count here.